Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I am continuing on with this full weekend's worth of racing at the Road America circuit on our Factor 2. Yesterday we we're in the Indy Pro 2000 category. Today we're hitting up the top level of the Road to Indy. This is the Indy Lights category or the sort of main feeder series to the Indy Car series itself. We're gonna be running a 10 lap race. We've got 10 cars in total, so sort of replicating the grid sizes of the real life category. So I guess you could say this is a little bit of a warm-up for tomorrow where I'm gonna be actually running the Indy Car series race itself or a recreation of it but yeah without any further ado we'll jump on the grid get this race underway it is a rolling start of course uh, so i'm gonna quickly skip through this so as you can see i have managed to qualify on the pole uh, i've actually had to go and turn the difficulty up so i've got the ai set to 115 percent difficulty um i think 50 percent aggression and then also max damage so if you have our factor two you'll know what that means but anyway here we go indie lights on our factor two around road america Oh, jump the start a bit. It's all right. We are on the pole. We can do that, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, here we go across the start-finish line. It's a weird start-finish line here. It doesn't actually feel like a start-finish line like most, or start-finish straight like most tracks, but up into turn one, fast right-hander. Got a decent gap. Oh, get it. Stop. Cold tyres. Use the runoff. The runoff is a bit rough. This track, I must admit, is really, really realistic, considering it's not laser scanned or anything like that. I have driven here once before in real life, and it does look really neat. So, anyway, I'm struggling to see in my mirrors. I don't know what it is with this mod, but actually, I wonder if I do that. There we go. That's slightly better. Somewhat see what's going on behind us. It just gets really weird, because when you brake, sort of that happens, and it just gets really distracting. But anyway, we'll just deal with it. So I can't quite see who's behind us. Got a long way to go, 10 laps, which doesn't seem like much, but on these tyres, this track is a bit of a cheese grater. Well, if you are uh, a true motorsport fan, you'll know what that means. And uh, we have got a Yukos car behind us. Well, all the paint schemes in this um, mod are not 100% realistic, but you can kind of get an idea of which team's which based on the colours. It's just a... Uh, basic sort of indie lights mod the mod itself feels pretty cool like it handles really well but aesthetically it's not overly realistic anyway down the long straight or if you could call it a straight fast part of the track into this really annoying right hander it sort of goes uphill on the apex and you have to get it back on the track up the hill before the final corner this last corner you change surfaces so all of a sudden you go from having grip to no grip or no grip to I can't remember what it was in real life but yeah it's really difficult because it sort of keeps um, cutting itself off so you feel like you end up apexing too early but we've led the first lap I'm not pushing too hard because I do not want to wear these Coopers out just yet oh that's very deep Ugh. Yesterday in the Indy Pro 2000 category, I managed to almost blow the engine, so I've made a couple of changes to the <laughs> to the tape on the radiator in this one. Made it slightly more open so it can get more air. Hopefully we can actually last the distance. I know we're going to have the pace now, it's whether or not we're going to have the pace at the end. I've set the car up to be slightly quicker on the straights than uh, the AI are. Just because there are so many long straights around here. You do spend a lot of your time full throttle, but it's a, it is a balancing act. You've got to get this aero right, because as you can see, we have a lot of fast corners as well. But mechanically, you've got a lot of slow corners that you really need to get that car really hooked up for. See, we are way quicker than the AI down the straight. See you later. Ah, oh, man. I'm going to stop. Struggling. Full fuel load as well. Going from qualifying to the race. It's amazing what the sheer weight of the car and what that changes the handling. I can't even English right now. 
All right, well, we did have like a two second lead up until <laughs> that last sector was terrible. All right, come on. Focus. Last time out in the Indy Light Series on r 2, we managed to finish second. Oh, it's a bit wide. On. That was around the Indy GP circuit. This is an entirely different track to that, I must admit. The surface is just so different. It makes it handle completely, well, different. Struggling to shake this guy, I must admit. He's got so much more aero than me. That's the only real bummer about this mod is the stupid mirrors, man. I'm tempted just to turn them off. How are we doing for tyre wear? Yeah, it's going down. It's that long sweeper it just really wears it out. The left front tyre. See the right sides are way newer than the <laughs> left sides. All right, back it up a little bit more for this one. Sped up. much better lap. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Yesterday was the hottest day of the year so far here in the UK. So it is sweltering. I've got the um, windows open. I'll try and get some air in here, but the cost is definitely the bugs that come with it. Oh, it's hot. head down, get away from this car in second, two second gap for now. Engine's not doing too bad. It's not overheating. We're got, it was like at 200 something in the in the Pro 2000 car yesterday. Turn you bitch. And you look at the layout of this track like on a piece of paper and it looks easy. Even from pictures it looks easy, but when you actually go around here, it's every corner is so just annoyingly difficult. Or more difficult than it should be. Anyway, we are starting to race away from these guys behind us. I feel the pace. Probably should have. <laughs> Turn that difficulty up a little bit more. Oops. Man, I'm really starting to sweat now. Whew. Mamma mia. Quick lap then. Six laps to go. rather boring I must admit. <laughs> AI is so slow around here. But driving this car though is this mod is really neat. If you want to check it out, it's in the description below. As well as the track. Should definitely have turned them up a little bit more in terms of difficulty. Turned them up once already thinking that would be enough but obviously not. Mind you I did 
do a little bit of practice and get this thing absolutely well hooked up. This car is just handling beautifully right now. No, not probably driving it is because it should be driven. Right, what else is new? And, uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens with the future of the road to Indy. Especially the Indy lights. They had small numbers anyway. They've always pretty much had small numbers for the last sort of 10... Well, as long as I've known it. Um, even with the new car that they have now. Well, not, it's not new anymore. But... Yeah, the, the numbers, I fear, are going to keep going down. It depends how many people oh, on, race it after the whole sort of motorsport lockdown, I guess you could say, is finished, even though it seems like the US right now, as of this video being filmed, is not really under any sort of lockdown, not compared to what we've had in the UK. In the UK, it was complete lockdown. Like, you do not leave your house <laughs> unless you are a proper... Um, you know, frontline worker, or deemed to be a frontline worker. So there was like a period there where I didn't leave the house for three months. Unfortunately, my industry, the football industry, is going to be the last thing that returns. But in terms of motorsport, yeah, I, I hope the Road to Indy survives. I think they could maybe get rid of either the Pro 2000 or USF 2000 categories and just have one it's sort of people have been talking that for uh, talking about that for a while now it's just having two categories you know they could save a lot of prize money as well or just combine and give more prize money to the Indy Lights driver that wins or to the series below that because right now they're giving like half a million to Pro, two, uh, Pro 2000 category, then three, I think, it's, well, last time I checked it, I think it was around 300,000 for uh, USF 2000. And then Indy Lights, it was it was a million plus. I'm not sure what it is now, but when I was competing in the Road to Indy, it was, it was a million, well, a million plus. And uh, yeah, so definitely distribute the prize money better by getting rid of one of the categories below Indy Lights. Oh, jeez. Uh, our tires are getting old. Come on, Joseph. Hold on to it. We've actually had a change for second. <laughs> so we got a new challenger. Just need to keep this thing on the black stuff and grey stuff as it is around here. And we'll be right. Now, next up in the Indy Lights category, though, I'm going to check out the Toronto Street Circuit. Uh, second Street Circuit so far in the IndyCar series. And the first in the Road to Indy. In fact, I think it's probably the only street circuit besides St. Pete in the Road to Indy. Fortunately, or unfortunately, I couldn't find a St. Pete mod that's sort of up to date. Or realistic. Um, on our factor 2, so unfortunately we had to, yeah, skip that one. But, uh, Toronto, Toronto, Toronto street circuit is pretty neat, I must admit. Can't wait to check that out. And yeah, this thing is hooked up. That last lap was terrible. That number 10 car, that's, well, supposed to be, I think, the Bellardi Auto Racing. That's what the sort of paint scheme looks like, and it was really quick last time out. Some things don't change on RFX2, I guess. Talent files and all. Got that rod off here, that sort of black curb is really, really sketchy. Much better lap. Uh, come on, Joseph. Sort 
it out. Oh, that left front is seriously struggling. Yes, yeah, it's down in the yellow. How long we got left? Oh, we only got three odd laps left, that's good. So we've managed it well. It'll be interesting to see what the wear's like in IndyCar series, because I know in practice that I did before, just a quick session that it's not as bad as this car, but the problem is you're going further into the race or further on a, on a run. There are no pit stops in the Indy Lights category. Um, and the races aren't really long enough to really warrant one. I'm trying to save money on teams having to make pit stops. You know, the mechanics in the road to India aren't really trained to <laughs> do that sort of thing. It's been a pretty terrible lap. So inconsistent, but that's not the car, it's me just being shit. <laughs> uh, alrighty, coming up to two laps to go. It's been a, been a pretty boring race to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. I apologize, but definitely try and figure out the difficulty better for next time we're in this mod. Sort of held on to this four second lead for a while now. It's did start to catch up a little bit, but it's been pretty consistent for the last lap or so. Curve just drags you off. Nasty. Right, up the hill to start the final lap. Oh shit, just realised. No, we're only just barely going to get to the end here. We've got four litres of fuel left. Uh, I guess that one, right? Well, we haven't made it to the end yet. Hold on. No, 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 no. Oh my god, no, 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 you absolute... Wow! Oh my god, Joseph. You are a twat. I cannot believe I've just thrown it away on the last lap. Oh my god, come on, get back on the track. What an absolute prick. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. Wow. You are a special unit. Freaking hell, man. Wow, <laughs> I just can't believe I just did that. Oh, Alright then. Well, look for sure to win it, and then I just. Oh, I've got no rear tyre left. What the hell, man?
Right, all you had to do was finish the damn race. And you go and screw it up. Oh my god, man, these rears are just lost all grip out of nowhere. Where the hell that came from? That really caught me out. That sudden loss of tyre, man, that just fell off a cliff. Jesus. That was well random. Absolutely no tyre left. Wow! I cannot believe I've just done that. I've literally just thrown it away on the last lap. Bruh, the tyres just all of a sudden fell off a cliff. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I hate Cooper tyres. I hated them in real life. I hate them on R-Factor 2. <laughs> wow! Oh, I am in such a knob. Oh. I can't believe I just did that. We're just, we're literally leading the entire race and then end up finishing seven. What an absolute twat. Oh my god. Anyway, at least we learned something. Not to go to sleep on the last lap and always check the tyre wear every now and then. But anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm literally, <laughs> I've never been so disappointed in myself on R Factor 2 before in my life. That was terrible. Oh my gosh.